Hello everyone, Fluffy here. Well, as you can see in the title, this video is going to be another meal prep video. Um, I'm recording this uh, intro without having seen all the footage put together, so I still have to edit it. Uh, so I'm hoping, I know there's a lot of new angles and stuff, and there was a, a glitch in the matrix. Um, the uh, air fryer broke on me after my first attempt. I was attempting to uh, air fry eight chicken wings, and I knew something was up when it was hard to get it started, and I put it through three rounds, uh, and it wouldn't start again. It seemed like it overheated, so today or tomorrow, I'll have to bring it back, ship it back so they can replace it, and so when they do, I, I will do my best to do a um, video of just using the air fryer. I'm giving it another try because somebody in the comments said that they had bought one for a friend and their friend absolutely loves it. So since it was on sale, they probably mass produced it too fast or something. I don't know, but I'm willing to give it another try. So it changed some of the things I wanted to make. I didn't end up making them, but anyway, you'll see. Uh, here I am with looking like a busted can of biscuits with my messy hair and my granny gown. <laughs> Anyway, without further ado, here is our batch cooking. So we're going to start off with some beans. I'm going to make a pot of beans. And you can use any pinto bean that you want. Just going to pour the whole bag in. Excuse my arm, y'all. And yes, I'm going to use the whole pound of bacon for this bag of beans. So the more bacon, the better, y'all. And I like the hardwood smoked. So I don't dice it up. I just pour the slices in there. Do one slice by slice, as you will see, but no really need to cut it into pieces. I find that once you cook it and stir it, the bacon is so cooked that it will fall apart during stirring. It's a lot of bacon, isn't it, y'all? Yum. That's all the bacon. So now my famous Fiesta brand fajita seasoning. I had to show you twice. I wasn't sure if I'd showed you the first time. Like I said, y'all, I put the fajita seasoning in a lot of things. And it just tastes so good in here. Um, it looks like a whole lot of fajita seasoning, and maybe it is. I would guess about a quarter cup maybe just over. Some garlic powder. And a couple of things that I'm adding extra, the fajita seasoning does have it in there, but I find putting a little extra of a couple of them. Uh, there's onion powder also. I find that it does make it tastier. I cut some of the footage off because found myself unprepared and I had to go and get some of the seasonings, so that's why I was a little delayed. Camino, or ground cumin. Now, you have to be careful with cumin because too much cumin in your beans, just like too much cumin in your taco meat, you will end up having chili. So, always better to go with a little than a whole lot. So, because you can always put the Instapot on saute mode if you need, you feel you need more cumin. Now, I think I put three, this is 32 ounce storage cup, and I believe I put two and almost three, or three and almost four, we'll have to count together. That's two, basically you can see where the beans are at the edge in the bacon. You want to make sure that you cover them. We like soupy beans. We like the bean juice. So almost three, just, you know, 
just shy of three. There you go. Put it on high pressure, 30 minutes, and then I let it release naturally. And here's the finished product. So next we have my teriyaki chicken. We are going to use the boneless, skinless leg meat or leg quarters from Aldi's that I showed y'all in a haul. I believe we showed this in a haul. So we're going to use one leg quarter per meal. So I'm just struggling to get them in the Instant Pot. And I'm kind of staggering them around almost like a puzzle so that the teriyaki sauce will end up getting on all pieces of the chicken. I just like dark meat better. I find that it doesn't dry out as fast and it just has more flavor. I mean, you could chop up the chicken and put it in there. You may try that next time. So I'm going to add some minced garlic. I love garlic. I'm sure there's garlic in the teriyaki. But in the end, the way it tasted, I was glad that I had put this extra in. About one and a half teaspoons. Next is a little bit of salt. And this is kosher salt. Like the granules of the kosher salt. is the sugar free teriyaki marinade. I do highly recommend this. You know, you can't even tell that uh, it is sugar free. Although I must warn anybody with a pineapple allergy, like my daughter, uh, it is sweetened by pineapple juice. So unfortunately, the kid was not able to eat this. But then again, she wasn't going to participate in the meal prep anyway, as far as eating them. So I just kind of moved the chicken around to make sure that the marinade got on everything to include the garlic and the salt I added. So once again, manual high pressure. minutes and I also let it naturally release. Now while the teriyaki chicken is cooking I will go ahead and start on the fried cabbage. It was so popular that I decided to go ahead and make it again. I did speed this up because this is a long process so here i am cutting the onions up for the cabbage i can't remember if i sliced or diced them last time but i decided to go ahead and dice them up in small dices so that's what i'm doing here and right about now, I'm smelling the teriyaki chicken, and I was really loving what I was smelling. <laughs> I guess I decided to... Oh, well, that did record. I told you in the beginning, I'm placing this over while I'm going through a run through. It's taken long enough to get this out. And I almost must tell you that um, some of this was done on uh, two separate days. The beans were done at least a week before I started the teriyaki chicken. I found that doing all of it in the two days that I did do it, it was just too much on me and the niece. So. 
I am doing most of the meal prep this time around. I have asked the niece to cut the cabbage for me, which is what I'm waiting on. So I'll bring you right back when it gets cut. Thank you, niece, for cutting that in half for me. With my hands, it's a little easier to manage when it's cut in half. I just could not do it. And when we say all the time, it is okay to ask for help, even though I don't like to. <laughs> well, with this speed it up, I look just like the ace chef, don't I? <laughs> look at me just go through that cabbage. Sounds like Halloween. <laughs> it's okay, kid. I told him you're making kimchi chicken. So when I made that comment, she kind of looked at me like, sorry. I'm wearing a set of headphones with a mic attached that I bought a long time ago that I thought wouldn't work on here. But going through the editor, I can use it. And I thought it would kind of muffle out some of the noises, but it doesn't really, so. But that's okay. She's being as quiet as she can. I guess I was thinking, well, maybe I shouldn't do this one, and then I said, what the hell, let's do it. smaller just squish it down there fluff just get all of it well I really have to because I have to move this stove over all right let me get the stove set up and then I will bring y'all right back see you in a minute now I'm cutting up some bacon Again, with the applewood smoked bacon, let's see how many pieces I get. Two, four, right? yeah, four or five pieces of bacon. And this one I definitely cut up into chunks. And this using kind of fatty bacon because the whole idea is the bacon grease seasoning the cabbage. Again, I don't bother to put them apart because the frying action will do that. A little bit of corn oil to get the bacon rendering. Now it's 
coming apart, so I'm separating the pieces of bacon. Oh, can you hear that bacon frying? Mm. Is there anything more spectacular? <laughs> Mixing it one last time because you want them to really start crisping up before you start adding anything else. Now I'm going to add the diced onion. And some kosher salt. Black pepper. And this is all to taste. A little bit of garlic powder. And some cayenne. If you don't like cayenne, you can leave it out. But I recommend trying at least a little bit of it. I'm waiting. <laughs> and here, this time I decided to start with a little bit of uh, cabbage and fry that and move it around. I thought it would help me to stir it a little bit better. Turns out I was wrong. You'll see that I end up spilling it anyway. Clumsy fluff. Would you expect anything less? Tearing up a few of the bigger chunks. That hand protection did not help. You'll see. And I add the chicken stock. I know some of y'all don't use the chicken stock, but I do because it gets up the brown bits from the bottom. I will then cover it and leave it on low for about 20 minutes. Now, while the cabbage is sauteing, finishing up, let's go ahead and finish up our teriyaki chicken. So I'm cutting a few vegetables here that go in it. I decided not to throw them in with the chicken part because I didn't want the vegetables just decimated. I wanted them to have at least some of their texture at the end of it. So I decided to uh, remove the chicken, and you'll see that in a few minutes, and then put the Instapot on saute and saute to let the juices render down and get thicker and to cook vegetables. So there's the chicken that I have removed. Don't that look good or doesn't that look good? I'm gonna saute the veggies. Just trying to get the sauce going a little bit. And in go the vegetables. show you a picture of them getting nice and bubbly and juicy and I believe I sauteed the vegetables for about 15 or 20 minutes in the meantime the by the time this finished up the cabbage finished up as well there you go look at that 
and I could have actually sauteed for longer, but the juice ended up did um, rendering down it.
right, so here is the last thing that I'm making the air fryer. And all I did was put eight or nine of the chicken wings in the fryer, the air fryer. I just put some fajita seasoning on it, set the timer on chicken wing, and increased the time from 12 to 15 minutes. I flipped them over. There's the fajita seasoning again on the other side. Put it in, it turned on. Chicken wings. See, I should have known, I sh it, start should have done it, but it kept flipping back. So I did my best and after several tries, it started working. I turned them over. Put them back in. Again, it took me a while to get it to start. At this point, I wanted to throw it, but I didn't. <laughs> I was determined to get it to work. But after this second round, it stopped working. See, I kept trying to get it to go. And it was very difficult. So afterwards, it wouldn't even light up. The power wouldn't even come on. So I'm going to have it exchanged and hopefully I can get it within a week. So here is the whole uh, meal prep. You've got the pinto beans, 10 of them. We ate one already. The teriyaki chicken with fried cabbage and Brussels sprouts. Did not show you those. This is all the meals. You have the chili, the spaghetti squash, taco kits here is a close-up uh, we didn't have another side so we used one can of corn for all what is it four or six taco kits four taco kits and that's it the only thing I didn't show you there's the chili uh, is the uh, fried cabbage God bless y'all positive vibes out to each and every one of you remember to always be kind and be your own advocate. I love y'all, and I will talk to y'all real soon. Goodbye.